absolutely no surprises at all then from head coach Marcos Kwiat with his new haircut. The Brazilian sending out a very tried and trusted bunch there. Confirmation of the starting lineup. A lot of big power hitters on court for the DR. who gets the start at center then for the American coach Jamie Morrison who does freshen up his starters as well with a start for Aline Timmerman the young middle blocker who came on and played so well against China and a start also for the defensive minded hits of Marek Jasper coming into the lineup and Bausch who sits down along with Juliet Lois from yesterday's starters against China Set her underway. Rivera with Sir Bongus goes backside. There's a block straight away from Bethania de la Cruz. Didn't see the best of Bethania de la Cruz yesterday against Argentina. But the matches are becoming thick and fast. The players have travelled all around this hospitable and welcoming country of Japan. And uh, she didn't quite seem to be on her A game. So that's the start that she would have wanted, and certainly her teammates would have wanted to see. Tongats goes back side again. Bausch gets the winner this time. Carisma Martinez takes that beautifully and uh, when service reception is as good as that, the quick set to the middle blocker is the best course of action. And Lisa Ava has been gobbling up plays like that over the course of this competition. Drop back to Serb. DR2. Not much of a player available, and uh, Slucci's almost managed to produce something out of that. They can transition here. Oh, there's another block. Well, that kind of cruise again. It certainly was. Oh, that was a very strong start then for Della Cruz. That was Slucci's. And she blocked out of that one. That's two wins then, defensively. For Della Cruz. Serve. Really nice serve. Martinez was all over the place trying to pick that up. Easy take. Vespucci's dropping it into space. Not always about power. Slow the pace of that ball down completely so the block doesn't come into play. And then he can just drop it into that big gap in mid court. Just 
kept the wheels turning all competition. Big Briley coming into this one with an even 150 points through nine matches. Places at number three in the league table of individual scorers at this competition. The BR go as Big Brailing goes. Big Brailing goes a bit too deep there. Side out. As we approach the first technical timeout, not as much to take. No winner for Rivera, so the Dutch will look to get through the views here, and it's a big swing and a big miss from the lead. Well, that wasn't mar marginal or borderline at all. Puts this indeed. And a 
away from the player standing centre court on the baseline. Really well played there. Earlier against China, Britt Bongerts, as the more experienced now, a deep back in. A terrific camaraderie between all the Dutch players. And it was Bongerts leading the cheerleading from the sidelines over well, the course of that match. Some players would sit and sulk, not Britt Bongerts. And that's another block point. No well of importance. Getting in the middle of that one. is there again, but that's all. Number 22. That is coming back. That's the problem. Still has. It's two in a row. Marcus Quiex says that's time outside. Characteristically from her, it goes wide.
they looked uh, pretty much out of sight in this first set. They got themselves right back in touch here with a lovely little thing from Bethania Dela Cruz. This first set has certainly ebbed one way, then the other. Right now, everything is flowing for the DR. Jasper takes a really nice service reception and comes up with a big third touch. That will settle her down. She's had a couple set back. She's missed one. And, uh, switch up. We'll see some new blood come in. Celeste Buck is in along with Laura Dikma. Setter who will drop into the service position. Pluck is a big hitter in her own right. But probably not as big as Braylon Martinez. They're absolutely ripped through that one on the five attack. It's uh, Bondits and Coolhouse that are sitting down. Interesting to see Coolhouse being uh, withdrawn. A very solid first set. As has Bongertz. So, Morrison will know exactly what he's doing and why he's done that. The push there from Pluck doesn't quite come off. Well, Martinez is denied by Scoot. He'll get a chance to uh, reset here. Bella Cruz goes for the push. Scoot picks that up. Pluck runs on the block. Big, strong hitter in her own right, Celeste Block. And uh, it's Gary Gonzalez and uh, Camille Dominguez coming in for a regular double switch. And, uh, big Braille checking out along with Deverka Marta. 
at all. Only just come on and uh, well, that's not good at all. You can't wait there, that's a problem. Oh, that's a real shame. Camille Dominguez. One of the most popular and likable players, not only on the Dominican Republic, but also in the whole competition. Very, very well liked player. So Marta's uh, time on the bench was much shorter than uh, she would have expected. Hopefully not too serious for Camille Dominguez. Nice twisted on landing there. She doesn't look in uh, serious distress. And uh, interested to see if she plays any further part in this World Cup. Cross court winner is beautiful. Yeah, you can't really place it much better than that. Timmerman. Second go at this. <laughs> Martinez will go for a bit more heat. Well done. Bongo, some smoochies come back in. That's the rotation. Reached its conclusion. Is there any movement? That's the answer. Rivera. Yes, the block is great. 
is the Dominican Republic a huge breakthrough. Deep, deep in this first set. Jamie Morrison has to pull time out of that stuck block. Well, more to Fraile Martinez than big hitting. She can throw in a few blocks now and again as well. That might just be a set winner. Taking the first set here against the Netherlands. serving for this first set. Set here, the Dutch. 
Martinez, the job finished by Braylon Martinez, the yeah, first yeah, set yeah. with the R. Here's the numbers then. Look at all those blocks from the DR. And Bethania de la Cruz leading that particular charge. So even though the Dutch were out hitting the Dominican Republic, the defensive work of the uh, DR helped get them over the line. No aces in that set either. Second set then. Ready to get underway with Brit Bongertz, the setter. Serving Bella Cruz, near side Rivera. Denied. Braylon Martinez picked off brilliantly by Murta Schut. And uh, anytime you're backpedaling, you're in trouble. Oh, tried to be sneaky there, Marta. But no real play on that at all. It was actually quite clever. Almost came off for a really good idea. Just got away from Bonga, side out. Denied by Marta, really good dig there, and then the Grayling goes cross court. 
Jasper, a very strong defensive player. Couldn't get it. That's how good this was. She's been hitting so many runs in this competition. Braylon Martinez. Must be a contender for one of the best outside hitters in the competition. When those awards get dished out. Slutchies there. Dela Cruz is second best there, and yet somehow has managed to get the better of Anne Bausch. I'm not sure what happened here. That was Bausch's all the way, and Dela Cruz with a really strong wrist sent that back. He enjoyed that. Anytime you win a point and you're second best at it, it's a huge bonus. There with the netter. Take a touch on the way through. Yep. Big touch. Let's have a look at that touch. Jumped a little bit off Cool House. Sharp start then by the DR, picking up four out of the last five points. That's Lisville Ava. We'll send that one over to Murta Jasper. That should be good enough. Put a setting there on the Verkamata who had to get on her bike to get uh, control of that one. Not the best take, but Jasper will look to finish the job, and that was a beautiful take. Wow, that was a beauty. as well. She had another go. Didn't get a winner there either. Dela Cruz. They look to swing through that one. They're in trouble. And they are on their knees down there. That was a tough win there for Batania Dela Cruz. She managed to find a way through. All those defenders that were stacked up far side. That was not an easy win. took her chance second time around paid the price for it Dela Cruz who really put some uh, fire on that last serve he sent another big one in here yes just taking it really well Sluchis though can't shred the block in coming is Dela Cruz who misses what an opportunity that was I think that was a hitter saying sorry to her setter there That 
will take us to the technical timeout with the DR a set to the good and in the lead here. Nairi Martinez with serve. Slipping around the back side was Timmerman. And she got picked off. And picked off that time. It may well have been Bondits that got the touch though. One way or the other, Priscilla Rivera was denied. Timmerman's there, but it's all about Brit Bondits. As Juliette Lois checks in. Big server, Lois. So this is a straight insertion into the rotation for Jamie Morrison a leading ace server one of the best in the competition Juliet Luis looking for a big one here and it didn't really come off there we can't find a winner and there's another block tough take this yeah really tough take uh, you'd look at Lonica Sluchis and say, how come she's found nothing but net? But that was a hard place to swing from. They are very missable. <laughs> Roberta Marta with serve. Oh, well, that's a bit more like it, isn't it? Set her up properly, that's what she'll do, and she is hitting some killer down the line today. Lonica Scucci, and another one. Wow, oh, that's not coming back. She is unerringly finding the line here. Larisma Martinez had terrific position on that, couldn't do anything with it. Martha sends it back side and Rejects the swing from Priscilla Rivera and back comes it up. A 
it on its serve and blocked right out of it there. Well, it's cool house. The one on one with the Martinez. I think there's a net board involved in this one as well. Let's take another look at this. What actually happened here? Yeah, that's all net board actually. Serving a plenty of net court on that one as well. Wherever it goes, Suchi's shows she can find winners that aren't necessarily down the lines. What a beautiful cross court. Nicole Kulhas with serve. Mars has got to go one handed on that, and that's a big win. Great setting, and uh, Denaya Martinez had to finish the job as well. Because that is trouble. Mars has done so well. And the job finished by Martinez. Keeps the Dominican Republic in control of this set. Not a great take from Yaspo, who will get third touch. Larisma Martinez with an outrageous rescue, but they'll. Get another go at this here in the Netherlands. It'll be Jasper again. And this time it is too good. Still the Dutch chasing though. Bella Cruz denied by Bausch back court. Jasper goes again. Larisma Martinez picks that one up. Della Cruz has another look for cross court. Great pick up from Jasper. Uh oh. There you go. Just a slight adjustment needed on the pipe attack from Bausch. And it was good enough. Here she goes. Just measured it. And able to take it. Really nice bit of adjustment there to secure the point. So they're chasing just the one point on serve once again here, Netherlands. And you might as well have just closed your eyes and hope for the best there as Bray and Martinez made her move. You weren't going to stop it, you just hope, had to hope that she was going to hit it long or find the nylon. Oh, that was near perfect. Flawless hit again from Martinez. Della Cruz with a zinger. Bausch picks that up nicely. No winner there. Oh, they're scrambling around here. A lot of work to be done for Jasper. Can't find a winner either. Denali Martinez denied by Jasper. Rivera, nope, nothing doing. Then comes Bausch. She's picked off. This is a big rally. And it's finished by Hinari Martinez beautifully. And the DR once again have control of this second set. Playing a really nice rally here. And once she decided to go on the running attack, Nivirka Martin said, here you go, youngster. Put this one away. So right now, the Netherlands having trouble keeping up with the Martinez's. All three of them contributing massively. As is Bethania Della Cruz. That was a beauty. They've got to deal with this. Della Cruz is there to pick it up. In comes Gray, and that is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable from Stutt. Well, it's brilliant. That's all about the dig from Mirko Stutt. That's what's made this point. That right there. That's taken out the opposition's best hitter. Well, that came back, they just didn't know what to do. Could not react. Well, they're still chasing here, though. The Orangi. It's always just drifting the wrong side of the line. From Merrick Jasper, so that'll take the DR to the second technical timeout, still in front.
no importa si la otra cogemos o la otra subió. Vamos, vamos, vamos. La próxima es lo mejor. Y vamos a hacerla, ¿está bien? Vamos ahí. Estamos luchando bien, seguimos luchando. Y no aflojamos el saque. Eso es lo más importante. Sí. Buen hoyo ahí. Seguimos con continuidad. Buscar esa transición con nosotros. Vamos, vamos. Ya, vamos. Well, we're pretty close to the point in the set where this has got to be side out for the Netherlands. Inari Martinez gives them that side out. Freebie. Lois then up to serve next for the Netherlands, their danger server. De La Cruz takes that nicely. Rivera oh, just about good enough. Doesn't look like Laura Dikma, the setter, is coming out of there either. She might be uh, bedded in for the rest of the match here. Bongots did start in the last match against China, got yanked pretty early, and Dikma came in, but it looks like here in this second set, that switch has been made permanent again. That's a clean winner. That's a nice one as well. No stopping that. Slucci is driving through there to keep the Netherlands in touch. A winner there, deep cut picking that one up, and then the swing from Lochis. Sluchis, excuse me, is too deep. She looks around as if to say, Is that worth a challenge? And uh, Jamie Morrison has decided, Yes, it is. He had a uh, huge success rate with his challenges in this match. So I'll be thinking, Well, I'm due one. Certainly the reaction from Slochi in fact. And they might have just withdrawn it anyway. Because the point is on the board and confirmed. Well, Bausch is uh, still having a chat at the chair there. The acting captain with um, Marek Balkerstein, who was introduced as a starter in this match, but did not take any part in the uh, proceeding so far, remains in the bullpen. Nice, that's all about touch. Switches. So they're holding firm here. The, the damage didn't get any worse for the Dutch. But they still have to try and conjure up a point on serve here. And they need two. Marta sends that over to Dela Cruz, whose cross court is picked up by Scoot. Here's a great chance. Wonderful rescue there from Rivera. Marta watches it all the way. Dela Cruz will have another go. Pushes it deep. Bausch is there. Is Jasper. That's beautiful. There's one of those points. Really nicely played there. And Marcos Puyak knows his side are feeling some pressure. He's decided, yeah. Let's stop this right here.
Rescue work there from Jasper. Slucci's can drive through that. Marches it too far. Dominican Republic hold firm here, but this is nervy times for both teams because the Dominican Republic have the slenderest edge. The Dutch still need a point on serve. That's assuming they side out, so they're still chasing. The Dominican Republic are feeling the pressure. Ava sends that one over. Nice take from Jasper. It'll be sent far side and a good enough winner there. Sent down the line. Yet again. Hit a few of those today, hasn't she? Cool house. There's the ace that levels this one up. From an unlikely source, it has to be said, Larisma Martinez has been rock solid on service reception. Something happened there. That's not the best take from the Libero either. Dela Cruz has to go for the little dink here. Tight angle, but what a way to find a winner from Sluchis and the Dutch flying now, absolutely flying. Marcos Kriak is going crazy at his players on the sideline. Not only have they seen a two-point lead disappear, he's going to have to call it again, and he has. Not only has that lead disappeared, they're chasing now. Even if it's a side-out battle, they have to match whatever the Dutch produce. just misses so this second set hangs in the balance now but Gaila Gonzalez will come in for Niverka Mata that is very simple very simple for Marcos Kwiak he's looking for a block here he's got four big players out on court with Rail in Martinez back at serve. In Nairi Martinez, Gonzalez, De La Cruz, and Ava all bring, bring plenty of height. Can they get a block in here? No, they can't. Suchi's ripped through it. So that didn't work. So Gonzalez back out. Marta back in. Got to affect side out here now, just to stay level. Ava's taking it nicely. Marta sets it up, hangs one up there for Brick Braille to drive through. Now, here comes an interesting moment. It is Bethania Della Cruz, as big a server as the DR have got on their roster, serving at 21 all. Goodness me, Jasper's got right underneath that, and there's only a push available. Here comes Martinez, and the initiative switches again. Now it's the Dutch chasing. Now it's Jamie Morrison calling timeout. Thank you. 
us right now. Make sure we keep it off the net. We don't need something perfect for a two hitter rotation. Uh, seven is just out. She's not helping. So if you're going to tip, tip to four or crank it back to one. One side out. Well, we're still on serve in this set, to use a tennis analogy, but obviously the big difference with volleyball is harder to win that point on serve. But that last point off the big De La Cruz serve at least puts the pressure back on the Netherlands. They have to side out now to stay in touch. If they don't, the Dominican Republic are almost over the line. She goes for another big one there. Nice take from Bausch. Jasper takes a touch on the way through. There is that side out. Had to have that. What a take from Bausch. And what a swing through from Jasper as well. A very well played point. Martinez handles that one. Here comes Braille in Martinez. Now, where's that going to drop? Well, it goes for second touch. Very nice. Nerves of steel there to execute that. Because if it backfires, you're in trouble. Hinairi Martinez, a point on serve, would take the DR to set point. Bounce denied by Martinez. De La Cruz. Too hot. That's the breakthrough here for the DR. They're on the brink of taking a two set lead here. Absolutely ripped through that one with Luis and Bausch there. She beat them both. On set point, there's a switch up here for the Dominican Republic. Yokaira Peña coming in for Hinairi Martinez as a pinch hitter. Looking to serve this one out. Peña's serve taken by Skeet. Bausch, no. They can win it right here. And they do. It's the captain, Priscilla Rivera. Strong finish to a set that was up for grabs all the way through. And then suddenly, the DR went through the gears. Two close hard-fought sets that both teams have really been in. But it's the Dominican Republic that have found a way to make the breakthrough when it really matters. They lead this one 2-0.
take a look at the numbers then. Just a one attack point in it. The Dutch edging the block battle two to one. The one ace serve came in from Nicole Koolhaas. Uh, too many mistakes from the Dutch. It's allowed the VR to secure a second set here. Morrison thinking, does his team have a comeback in them from two sets down? The DR looking to improve to five and five to drag the Dutch down to five and five. And there's a break down there on the Dominican Republic side. Net violation. this guy no watch out oh my goodness me that's a huge breakdown what on earth is going on there well they took 
cover like that was a hand grenade coming at them. Nobody took it on. Look at this. I'm amazed that Marcus Kwiak hasn't called a timeout here. Called a timeout, but he was certainly bellowing at his players. Maybe he felt they just needed a bit of a an ear bashing from the sideline. And he is very much prowling up and down here, quick. Watching this one really closely now. Really nice oh, right there. What a beautiful down the line. She goes, she's making a move, the running attack. Nice. Juliet Lois. Celeste Pluck. Looking to serve. Taken by Dela Cruz, who will get third touch as well. And picked off nicely by Jasper. Block gets a whole bunch of uh, net cord, but it took a touch as well. And they're going to challenge that. Yeah, Marcus Quiak saying no. We didn't make any contact on that at all. In which case, that's our point. If that's got nothing but net, that is a DR point. But if it has taken a touch, that's a different scenario. Looked like it was all net cord. But it is going to need a replay to confirm whether there was any contact with a finger or a forearm. He's also going to use this time wisely. what it looked like in real time. Good call. That's why the challenge is there. Well, it's the DR chasing early here as they look to try and wrap this one in three and the Dutch look to drag this into five sets. You get the one-on-one. -on -one. Lois denied by the DR captain. And here's Dela Cruz, the big serving Bethania Dela Cruz. And another one that's uh, taken, had to be taken by Deep Mahinari Martinez. No winner there. Jasper sends it deep, and dear, oh dear. Dela Cruz caught absolutely stranded there. <laughs> Lois with serve. And that is a shock. Considering the source. Israel and Martinez will take 19 to 20 of those and gobble them up. Remember, don't want to come later beating defense because this ball is really sharp here for six. Pay attention to tip, face one, good attack there, good tip long. Yes. 
promising and encouraging for the Netherlands then. Early in this third set. Helped by a couple of the big hitters from the Dominican Republic being slightly off their game. De La Cruz first, and then the shocker from uh, Braylon Martinez. Denialy Martinez goes cross court. Well, nobody's ever hitting winners every time, but when you've got a banker like Braylon Martinez and she's driving through like that, and she did on that earlier miss, you almost just assume it's a formality, and when they do miss, you look at it and go, how? And they hit everything. That's a nice serve from uh, Hinaldo Martinez. Uh, that's going to be picked up. Braylon Martinez with a lovely dig. Rivera's got a lot of work to do there to beat the Dutch defences. Plop drives through. Braylon Martinez picks that up. De La Cruz. Wow, now. That was their two big hitters right back on their game, wasn't it? Defensive work from Braylon Martinez and then a real swing through from De La Cruz. Now it's one of those points back. Hinairi Martinez looked to level it up here. Tough take this for Jasper. Really tough, but she got a block touch. Big, really big this. with a sneaky one and speaking of sneaky setting anything one sneaky setter can do the other sneaky setter can match the worker Marta with another one of those delicious second touches <laughs> watch that all day beautiful stuff let's she can see if she can level this one up serving Jasper Kulhas doesn't find the put away. Rivera looks for the cross court. Diekmer's picked that up. Here comes Lochis, and Lochis with another authoritative swing drops it just inside the baseline. but they're going to keep it alive here. The hoist and hope from Scoot. Back it comes with Big Braille in, who just finesses her way to the point. So the DR digging in, tucked in just behind the Dutch here. You know, the little dink good enough for Martinez. Perfect take from Scoot. And Celeste Pluck drives through. Off the back of it. Well, the side out battle. When you're the team that's got the lead every time you side out, you just beat the pressure on the opponents. They've got to match it. Just to stay in touch. Larisma Martinez takes that one well, and Luis Valeda can dispatch as a result. Some really good service reception. As both teams have just gone a little conservative with their serves. Conservative serving tends to produce absolutely nothing for you at this level. Let's see if Ava will roll the dice with one of her deep serves. Still pretty flat. Clock. Nice rescue there from Ava. No real play there. Available for Martinez. And an easy put away from Pluck. Lovely dig there, but no real play there available at all for Braylon Martinez. And Pluck shut down that passing lane very quickly indeed. So the Dutch keeping on the ascendancy here, pushed it a little bit too much there. Asking the question on Serge Lucci's. And Jamie Morrison will mind seeing that. Well, it's still the DR looking for the point to level it up. 
Braylon Martinez serving Jasper, who's taken that really nicely, and that's even nicer. Oh, Laura Dikma had to make this perfect. Just nibbling the line. Well, the two setters getting tricky out there, aren't they? Crews make a difference. If there's one player from the Dominican Republic who would fancy to put some pressure on with serve. It's the big serving Bethania de la Cruz. Really nice take again from Scoot. Jasper rubs it off the block. And that was all about Merkel Scoot's service reception. That was really big. So it's Lois up next. As this side out battle grinds on. Well, this is going to come back, but they shouldn't really have much of a play on this. The Dutch, there again, cross court. That's coming back again, though. They've kept it alive until Hinari Martinez says that's enough of that. Well, they never allowed the Dutch to transition out there. Kept the pressure on DR, even though they had to win it three times. They always maintained the initiative at that point. And uh, the player who got the kill will now look to level it up on serve. And Mario Martinez, though, wins the netter. So this side out duel goes on and on. The Dutch can't pull away. The Dominican Republic can't close the gap. Second touch doesn't work this time. No cheese makes them pay. Oh, that was a going to the well once too often here for Niverka Marta. Now that is a breakthrough of the second technical timeout. Well, the Dutch have got this set right where they want it now. Serve. Backside goes Luga Ava. So this is where the Dutch can afford to be a little bit conservative with their serving. They've got a healthy two point cushion now. It's the Dominican Republic that need to find something a little bit extra in their service game now. They might have a chance at one here. Backside it goes, and Braille Martinez drives that down the line. And there is one of those points back. Go for your ace. Look for number 20. It's got to be the message for the Dominican Republic. Marta then stays on serve. Just when the Dutch thought they had a bit of breathing space, back come the Dominican Republic again. Pluck! Driving through. Wow, that was a swing and a half. Yes, 
Well, Celeste Platt does not hold back. That's not her game. Absolutely drilled that one. Yes, but up next. And uh, Priscilla there and didn't hold back there either. I know I saw Camilla Dominguez earlier turn an ankle on landing earlier in this World Cup. Priscilla Rivera just located a finger in Sapporo. She only missed one match. Volleyball players are tough. And they level here. Black. Ooh, trouble. Slew cheese. Martinez with the rescue. Brailing Martinez. Now that might just stay alive. Ooh, tough take this from Slew cheese. Brailing Martinez again. Blocked. Big, big rally this. Dela Cruz. Did it take anything? Yes. They're level. That's a very impressive response that Marcus Kwiat will be very pleased with. Oh, catching a, a little bit of Nicole Coolhouse on the way through. And from chasing a two-point lead, the DR level. Rivera serving Schut. Block. Hasn't missed many. That can't think of any she's missed. Side out. Well, it might be uh, level pegging again, but it's the Dutch putting the pressure on still. Dela Cruz with a lot of work to do there. They're going to get any play there? No, they're not. An important side out. Well, this is. Just like the first two sets, it's going to be very fine margins that determine this one. Nothing between them. Again, Lisbeth Ava. Looking to try and put the Dominican Republic in front. Serving pluck. Not a bad idea. Suchis can't beat Marta on the cross court. Braylon Martinez does put the Dominican Republic in front. So they're putting the pressure on again now. That's enough for Jamie Morrison. He calls a halt to this one. Well, this is where the Dutch have to hold firm. It's still on serve. But it's the Netherlands now chasing. Must be side out for the Europeans from here. Anything less, this might just get away from them. They need side out. Off the timeout, Ava will serve. There's Black. Now the block's there, and it's kept alive brilliantly. Has to push there, though. Lucci's. Well, miraculous that the Dominican Republic were able to uh, get a rally going there after a wonderful rescue. That dig from Larisma Martinez was off the scale. So we're level. Can the Dutch get their noses in front with the point on serve? Luis well, Martinez takes that one and Hinaeri Martinez puts it away off the quick set. Dominican Republic putting the pressure on and looking, I think, with a substitution to get the block in place. Gayla Gonzalez replaces the setter, Niverka Marta. Very simple. Marcus Quiet 
is just getting as much height as he can at the net. Last time, this didn't come off. Braylon Martinez with service. Not a great take this from Pluck. He's got some work to do here. There is the block. They'll get a second go at it. Block has to really wind one up there. Wow. Oh, my goodness me. Just about. Just about. They are clinging on here. That was close to a big, big problem for the Netherlands. Serving at 20 to 20. Make that 21 20. Dominican Republic still applying the pressure. Rivera in. Now, this could be a huge moment as Camille Dominguez into ankle and all looks on. It's Bethania Della Cruz up. If there's one player you'd want serving right now, it's her. Net skinner Scoot handled it absolutely brilliantly. Slew Cheese has finished the job again. The service reception from Murta Scoot is the story here. And you wonder why Natania De La Cruz even went after her. She has been absolutely solid on service reception. Still, we can't separate them. Lowy sneaks an ace in. One of a handful of players in this competition with double digit aces, flukes, a big one. And that switches the pressure round. Now it's Marcus Quiak who has to call a timeout. <laughs> Well, it's the Dutch asking the questions now. If they get a point on serve here, they're almost over the line. Louis serves Rivera. This must be side out for the Dominican Republic, and it may not be. Well, well, well. That is a staggering miss. Well, they all have a miss, don't they? We saw Braylon Martinez with a big miss earlier. Well, that miss from Lonica Slucci's is every bit as shocking. It was set up perfectly for her. Yonkaira Pena will pitch hit at 22 all. The Dutch can still a slightly healthier position than their opponents. Slucci's riding at him. Straight at Pena as well, and that was clever. So she's back out. Camille Dominguez can barely watch this. Now, are we going to go to set point here? No, we are not. Not with Braille and Martinez driving through on the pipe attack. But this is three sets in a row. Which could have gone either way. And look at this. Anaris Valdez, the veteran middle blocker, will check in. Marcus Quiak sending out all the big bodies. 21 years. She's been representing her country. Anaris Valdez at 38 years of age. A cool head for a crisis. Didn't quite come off. So close. The Dutch have set point. So Valdez will return to the bullpen. As Marek Jasper looks to serve to make this 2-1. Won't happen, we're going deep. 
Juice. It's still be breathing a bit easier here. Nicky Jamie Morrison and Marcus Quirk because it's the Dominican Republic that are just doing all the chasing. Point on serve would at least flip it back the other way. Rivera with a nice safe one. Hello, hello, big big error, big error. Marit Jasper sends it over on first touch, and just like that, we've suddenly got the match point. That was pressure because that was not a huge serve. Jamie Morrison absolutely right just to call that time out there. You have to get your players' heads back in the game. After an error like that. So, they've got themselves in front again. Can they serve out a three-set win here, the DR? Must be side out for the Dutch. It's Rivera with serve. Got to get a bit more air under that. Pluck keeps it alive. Call us up next. Della Cruz picks that up. She'll get third touch as well. Brilliant from Jasper. Pluck. Even better. The cross court makes it set point, Netherlands. All oh, the pressure switches back the other way. Wonderful take from Jasper, who may have committed the error earlier. But boy, she atoned for that. Players at this level tend not to make bunches of mistakes. That's why they are at this level. Well, they had a match point, admittedly, on their own serve, the Dominican Republic, but now they're staring at the set point against them. Nicole Coolhouse serving. Lavisma Martinez collects. That's blocked and coming back, and that is the Dutch right back in it. Here's the numbers then, 1917, the big one, a couple of block points for the Dutch as well, and the ace. 
And yet somehow the Netherlands made very, very heavy weather of winning that third set. Had to fight off a match point against them. Really well taken time out. And Jamie Morrison settled them back down. They came back, ripped off three points in a row to secure the set. And take this into a fourth and carry momentum into that fourth set as well. Referee's always got a joke in her, but I doubt that she's cracking a one-liner there to uh, Laura Digma, the Dutch captain. Quite a conversation going on there. It was the Dutch captain that was pulled over. Just had a little word with Celeste Black off the back of that. I wonder if that was for kicking that ball away towards the end of the first set. Just a, just a gentle reminder from the chair. Who knows? Set four underway then. Yes, the best of takes from Rivera. Dela Cruz, no real play on there. Taken easily by Blackman. There's a big block. Liz Valeva. from Rivera and send it the other side to Sweet Cheese and there's uh, contact at the net which gives the point to Jamie Morrison's Dutch squad cool house with serve Mario Martinez good enough serving too big it's so hard to separate them through this match and there's been a point where there's been more than four or five points between them four points on serve at the absolute outside a really nice take there Wonderful rescue from Jasper on the Bella Cruz down the line and Klopp rubs one off the block really nicely. Wonderful stuff from Jasper, whose strength is a defensive scurrying around.
Dela Cruz. Serving Jasper. Braylon Martinez is there. Rivera got right underneath that one. Oh my goodness. Well, she thought it took a touch. She suddenly went back to the huddle there thinking that's a touch. Well, I guess when you've got a reaction like that, you're not going to challenge it. No, they're not. I must admit that replay did not clearly suggest a touch. That's an over hit. Rivera's not done particularly well with that one either. Goodness only knows how they kept this alive. A stay of execution, surely. No, Jasper can't beat Ava. They're back in the point all of a sudden. Rivera. Scoot picks up the cross court. And then it's sent way too far. Way over hit by Lonica Sluchis. Well, how on earth did they win this point? But that's why you never give up on a point. You just hope that your opponent gives you a gift. And the over hit from Sluchis is that gift. Martinez with serve, really nice take. And a very, very good pick up there from Hinari Martinez, but it's just contain and contain here for the Dominican Republic. The backside attack is successful. Lois getting the better of Rivera. serve and uh, but Dela Cruz hasn't exactly handled that brilliantly. Good chance here for the Dutch to grab the initiative. Oh, Rivera said no. Oh. Big stuff block. That was a great chance for Nicole Kuhlhaas who just lost a one-on-one -on -one duel where with the Dominican Republic captain. Has really rescued the situation for the DR. serving Jasper. Pluck's going to take this from mid-court. It's tough to get a winner from there. Well, she could have tried to play contain, but Celeste Pluck, who's been hitting so well in this match, thought, no, let's go for it. Tough. You have to uh, admire the confidence to go for it, but very hard to hit a winner from there. So Marta stays on here. Pluck is blocked out of it by Braylon Martinez. Now that's two misses from Block that suddenly put the Dominican Republic in front here. Well, the first one was all her own fault, really. The second one, just a bit of defensive play from Braylon Martinez. And the Dutch need side out right here. They don't want this gap growing any larger. Jasper handles that one really well. Sweet cheese finishes the job. Send the DR into the first technical timeout, 8 6.
that's a very very close margin again these two teams just cannot seem to separate from each other so finely matched Rivera sneak that one over the net Rojas is blocked down of it that's Liz Valeva this is a really good spell here for the DR their chins off the floor here the Dutch side out needed there's the floating serve that comes in and that's blocked as well well back-to-back -back starts from Liz Del Aver. now then this is a gap opening up well, come with the hour come with the blocker here Jamie Morrison says you know what this is 10-6 that's not good Important timeout taken by Jamie Morrison. Let's see how his team responds. Side out essential now. And those uncomplicated serve from Rivera, prop driving in. Marta's got right underneath that. They'll keep it alive. But the Dutch should stay on the front foot here. Sluchis, though, seem to get caught in two minds. Braylon Martinez. No, that's a pickup from Jasper. Now, where's this going? in trouble but they've kept it going big big rally this massive point in the context of the match Dela Cruz misses oh my goodness what a miss that might just have put this match out of sight We're living dangerously here the Netherlands Jasper with serve, it's a good one. De La Cruz. Important blocking going on there from Koolhaas. His block. Oh, that's nice. That's the be block back in business. That's repaired some of the damage. He'll be breathing a bit easier now. They can uh, game manage so much better from here. I tell you, Catania De La Cruz. That hit a winner on that cross court instead of sending it wide. This match might be out of control. Nothing doing there for Braille in Martinez either. Block to have a big, big swing and take something on the way through. And that's a big change in momentum again here. And now it's Marcus Kwiak who has to call a timeout. It does seem if one team gets ahead the other team just comes straight back at him and here we see it again Serves. That's not a great touch at all. Ooh, lucky they're still in the point here, the DR, and they're not in the point anymore. Kulhas takes it away. Just like that, the Dutch have repaired the damage. That's not what Marcus Quiet needs to see off the back of a timeout. So 
So Marion Jasper will stay on serve. Better take from Rivera this time. And Martinez is blocked out of it. That was cool. House again. Back to back points for the Dutch number 22 and the Dominican Republic stone cold right now. Man, it's blocked. has got it. Well, she's caught fire at the right time for the Netherlands. Jasper serves on and will probably be serving on after this as well, barring something miraculous. Well, this is an unbelievable run of points. Well, I think Catania de la Cruz is it? just a little bit dinged up there. It's a bit uncomfortable there. She just kind of just slipped and jarred her knee a little bit. Want some moisture. Well, Rivera's having a real tough time with service reception here. Martinez has no real play and just very nicely went down the line with Scoot reading it and then committing. And because of that push, Scoot was completely wrong-footed. Really nice from uh, Martinez. But from having a really comfortable lead here, they're chasing. Ava with serve. Where's this going? Slucci's can't find a winner. What a pickup from Marta, but still no play for the DR. Slucci's will go again. And, uh, the Republican Republic really off the boil at the moment. but it's another hoist and hope for the DR. Just can't seem to find a winner at the moment. Pluck takes a touch. The Dutch absolutely romping away with this set now. And I'm in borderline out of sight. You look back at the big turning point. Defania De Dela Cruz missed a cross court. That would have made the job very, very difficult for the Dutch since then. They've only had one winner, Dominican Republic. Nairi Martinez can't find one there. Here goes Celeste Plack again, and that has missed. That's a much needed respite for the Dominican Republic. They're not completely out of this yet, not with a scoreline like that, but the uh, sign's not encouraging for the Dominican Republic. They need to retune here and retune pretty quickly. A little net skimmer from Martinez. <laughs> That's way too hot. Slucci's drives that one in for side out. Well, one of their best diggers with a struggle to get under that. Slucci's with Sir. Nothing really Mart could do except go for second touch there. Slucci's goes for the dink. De La Cruz picks that off. De La Cruz looks for the winner. Gets it. That's a real shame. That did not take a touch at the net. Yes, but thought it might have done, which is why she had to go after that one. If she'd left it, that was probably a Netherlands point. That's so hard to know. Delacruz really went after that one. Pulled long, but it's going to be challenged. Now, it looks a good call in real time, but it only takes the back of that ball to cover the front of the line, and that'll be in. Any part of the circumference of the ball covering any part of the line is a good point. And this, clo this is close. Let's see how close. Well, this looks like a centre line review. That can't be right. Now, here we go. Any 
anything there. No, it's missed. Actually look closer than that in real time. So there's the confirmation. Now we can go to the second technical timeout. Hitting of Celeste Pluck, providing a foil for Lonica Slucci's, has really helped the Dutch engineer this turnaround. Can they level it up here? Take it to a tiebreaker. They put themselves in great shape, leading 16 13. Dominican Republic must side out and then try and do something about this deficit. Block with serve. Raylan Martinez, brilliant pickup, wonderful from Scoot, who's been superb in that area. Point after um, Rivera followed through into the net. And this gap is uh, growing really wide now. Seal the deal here with Block. Martinez has kept it alive. No real play though. The Dutch stay on the front foot. Oh, she went for it there, Diekma. Now they'll get another go though. Diekma will send it up for Block. And that is a bigger gap as we've seen in this whole match. Marcus Queer calls timeout, but we're looking at five sets here. Goes for another one of those aggressive ones, serving Ava. Nardi Martinez on the running attack, can't find a winner. Sluchis is blocked out of it. Scoot brilliant. Jasper rubs one off the block, and the Dutch are making this fourth set a procession now. Dominican Republic will need, if they side out from here, will need five points on serve, and they're not going to get that. This set has been completely controlled. Basically off that miss. Well, that's uh, going to have to be done again. Well, Celeste Block in a bit of trouble with the uh, referee again. Uh, it's all smiles. I'm sorry, 
Now Celeste Block can serve at 19-13. Taken by Peña, the new player. So Mario Martinez on the running attack. Head side out, Dominican Republic. But, uh, overwhelming odds against the Dominican Republic here. Back into this set for the Dominican Republic. Their 2 0 lead. Their match point counting for nothing right now. All the momentum is with the Europeans. A low net serve from Juliet Lois, but they can happily side out from here. Serves Jasper. Jasper will take third touch brilliantly. Absolutely brilliant. That's a couple of big quality hits from Malik Jasper in the last two or three points. Another beauty there. Just destroying the backcourt defenders. Sneaky little serve. A sneaky little hit back from Big Braley. Pena with serve. Block with a cross court kill that keeps the Dutch in complete control of this fourth set. Hit really well since coming in, Celeste Block. There's a block point coming in. Slucci's just confirming what we already knew. This one is going to go all the way. And this has been a horrible fade out in this set from the Dominican Republic. And the fade out continues. I serve. And there haven't been too many of them. Oh, Mary Jasper. Making the most of that misfire from Yonkara Pena. Marcus Kwiak has got some work to do at the next turnaround. His team has just gone stone cold. Well, Ava will make them wait, but that's all it is. The Dominican Republic are not going to find seven points on serve here. It's not happening. for the push. Oh, that's one save. Inari Martinez pulling the trigger. suggest that the Netherlands will be on course to complete a turnaround here. 
Dominican Republic with an awful lot of work to do. They've got to recharge the batteries and fast. This one's level. We're going into a tiebreaker. The numbers from that last set then, wow. Look at those attack hits. Dominican Republic dried up. Yeah, they got some block points in there, but that's all they got. Now that's got to change in a hurry. They look like the tank had hit empty there, the DR. And the big turning point was when they had that early lead and they were in a rally and they had that big swing from Bethania de la Cruz. When that went wide, the Dominican Republic left the building. tiebreaker it's not a race to 25 it's a sprint to 15 and as we've seen time and time again in this year's World Cup when it goes to a fifth set usually somebody jumps out early and there is no way the trait the chasing team can come back we've seen 15 5 15 6 15 10 15 9 15 8 you tend not to get nail biters in this World Cup in a tiebreaker. If you fall behind early, you better press the panic button. Can the Dominican Republic summon up some reserves of energy? Can Bethania de la Cruz crank out a couple of big serves? The tiebreaker is underway. Scoot has handled that really nicely. And that is still alive. But that's all it is. Hoist and hope for the DR. Nice fake. Lucci's though with a second chance to find a winner can't do it Braille and Martinez that's lovely that's really nice once again she made Scoot commit Scoot had it covered and then she just pushed it deeper than Scoot was expecting instead of swinging through there she is she's committed again that's so clever from Braille and Martinez it puts the first point on the board and it keeps the Dania de la Cruz at the service line Nice from Jasper. No, it's not. It's gone over. It's gone over. And Braylon Martinez has done what is necessary. Well, at first it looked like it was a nice take, but then it no, it's going and going and gone. Fast start from the DR on the big serve of Bethania de la Cruz. And a couple of big hits from Braylon Martinez. Getting back to basics here, Dominican Republic. Now they need side out desperately, and they're not going to get it. Braylon Martinez is owning this tiebreaker. Three points, all from the Dominican Republic. Number 20, a clever push, a big swing. Now a block point. And here we go again. How often do we see this in the tiebreaker? Somebody jumps out early. 
both of those things, it's slashed to miss six. Slashed to probably come at you with six. You've got pretty good range on that thing. One pass, one side out. Let's go. Pressure is building here. This has got to be side out. Not sure they can recover if they go any further behind. De La Cruz serves Plot again. Not great. Jasper's got to take one on from deep there, and that's not going to be a winner either. Well, I tell you, Bethania De La Cruz must have taken some deep, deep breaths in that turnaround because she has come out smoking with her serves here at the start of this tiebreaker. They can't handle it at all. The Dutch need for side out here is, is now desperate. They've got to get her out of there. There comes another one that Plot's mishandled completely. That's a clean ace. Oh, this is absolutely brilliant from De La Cruz. Not only is it big serving, but it's now targeting the lesser service receivers. You keep away from the likes of Scoop. Send it somewhere else. Five points without reply. The Dutch rocking. De La Cruz goes after Scoot this time, who can't handle it particularly well. No play here at all. What a chance for point number six on a brilliant swing from Braylon Martinez. Well, this is all on serve. This is destructive serving. This is match-winning serving from Bethania De La Cruz. They both know what it's like to lose a five-setter of the World Cup. The Dutch blew it from 2-0 up against Serbia. There's a switch up. Bausch comes back in for Jasper. The Dominican Republic dragged Russia into a fifth set before getting blown off the court in the decider here. They are doing the blowing off the court. Six points without reply. And still De La Cruz serves. Bausch picks that one up. So does uh, Martinez. Gayla Gonzalez finds a winner. There's just no stopping them. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yet again here at the World Cup, we are seeing a fifth set wipeout. How many times has this happened already? Well, it's a second time out for Jamie Morrison. He might as well throw the towel in because surely the Dutch can't come back from this. behind her. Bethania De La Cruz has been sending down sizzler after sizzler and they just can't deal with it. There's another biggie. Bausch does that really well but then has to put the brakes on. Marta will send it over. The block's in place. Marta will look again. Backside. Gonzalez rubs one off the block. No stopping him. If they contain Martinez, Gonzalez comes through on the backside and they cannot find the antidote here the Dutch they are finding another way to lose a five-setter here there's for the DR well surely they can't blow it from here and that's the woman that has turned this tiebreaker into a procession Dela Cruz will continue then. Oh, 
More problems for Plot. More problems for the Netherlands. Now is wiped out. Martinez getting a piece of that. Nine points without reply. Absolute destruction, this, from the Dominican Republic. And it's all been sparked by Dela Cruz, who's sent in another big one. Well, Bausch got underneath it. And they have had a swing at it. Then Gonzalez gets blocked. Martinez pushes. Blocks just about got there. And then they're blocked out of it again. Martinez, ten points in a row. Can you believe it? Unbelievable stuff, this. All the more extraordinary because the Dominican Republic at the end of that fourth set looked completely gassed. They looked like they had nothing left. Who would have believed that? Ten points in a row in a tiebreaker. And she's not done yet. Oh, they've done well to pick that up off the floor. Oh, look at that from Sluchis. That's a tired, tired... Desperate swing. Well, this is just a full on meltdown now. The only hope the Dutch have is that Braylin uh, or Batania de la Cruz's serving arm falls off, and it might, but she must be getting tired. Here comes serve number 12 in a row from Batania de la Cruz. There might be another one. Oh no, finally, finally they get a break. So that was there for taking as well. That was coming back over. That's a missed opportunity, but at 11 nil, it probably doesn't matter. Marek Jasper is coming back on. Impossible to see how any team in the world, even China, would struggle to get out of this one. Oh, hang on, that's coming back on first touch from Dela Cruz. Oh, and she's missed it. Oh, my goodness me, it was sat there for Kulhas. And she somehow contrived to push it out of bounds when it was easier, much easier, to put it away. Ava then. Serving Jasper. Block. For a flash of defiance. with the side out. In comes Anaris Valdez. Marcos Quirk looks to get a block set here. serving two points needed brilliant absolutely brilliant pickup from Luis de Martinez in vain so Valdez will go back out again is denied so they'll bring it to Braylin Martinez that's really put up in the air by Scoot Black has to go for this one and puts too much on it and that'll take the Dominican Republic to match point might as well throw down a challenge There's nothing left to lose here Now 
That just confirms the call. That is match point. Priscilla Rivera will come in as Braylon Martinez sits down on match point. Rivera, the captain of the Dominican Republic, looking to serve this out. It looked like they'd blown it 10 minutes ago. But that burst of serves from Betania de la Cruz means that the Dominican Republic are going to get out of this with a five-setter, barring something extraordinary. They'll have to wait. serving at match point. How appropriate that it would be Bethania de la Cruz with the final touch as well. It was her serving that absolutely destroyed the Dutch in that tiebreaker. Oh, what a strange match. There was nothing between them for three sets. Then the Dominican Republic just faded away in the fall. Everything pointed to the Dutch transforming it and going on and winning in five and then Bethania de la Cruz stepped up and decided to come up with one of the best bursts of serving she has probably ever come up with an extraordinary finish to this match spare a thought for Lonica Slucis who ends up stranded on 29 points Martinez adding 26 of her own as well and then Bethania de la Cruz, the destroyer of the Dutch. In a team sport like this, it's rare that one player makes a difference. But in that tiebreaker, it was all about Bethania de la Cruz. And the Dominican Republic pick up their fifth win. The Dutch 